New developments in an I-Team investigation. A new executive is being brought in at Wounded Warrior Project, the nation's largest veterans charity based here in Jacksonville. Retired Major General Charlie Fletcher, he is the new interim chief operating officer. The I-Team broke this news with a push alert just before one this afternoon. This is the latest development in our two-month investigation. I-Team investigative reporter Lindsay Gardner is here after obtaining the internal memo naming Fletcher to his new role. Lindsay, he's a familiar face to some within the charity. He is, Joy. Retired Major General Charlie Fletcher already served on the Wounded Warrior Project Advisory Council. Something concerning to one whistleblower that we talked with today. Also in this letter I obtained from a Wounded Warrior Project insider, the board chairman acknowledges the scandal to staff and says the search for the new CEO is ongoing. A one-page letter to Wounded Warrior Project staff announcing retired Army Major General Charlie Fletcher as the new interim chief operating officer. It says Fletcher brings 30 years of military experience, including leadership in the military and in the private sector. According to his bio on the organization's website, he has also served as a logistics senior mentor to NATO. The announcement comes two and a half weeks after the former CEO, Stephen Nardizzi, and COO Algie Rodano were both fired following a two-month investigation by the I-Team and national media into questionable lavish spending on staff rather than veterans and a culture of fear and intimidation if anyone disagreed. Former Wounded Warrior Project speaker turned whistleblower Eric Millette, a combat wounded veteran himself, talked to me about the development today. You know, I, I have a, a mixed reaction. I think it's great that they recognize they need senior military leadership within the executive level at Wounded Warrior Project. However, bringing somebody in that was on their advisory board is a concern to me because that person may have biased views. Millette pointing out in addition to General Fletcher already serving on the Wounded Warrior Project Advisory Council, the man making the hire is another insider, Board Chairman Anthony Odierno, who is currently serving as the interim office of the CEO. To make a measured change, do you believe that Wounded Warrior Project needs outside leadership? Yes. Um, especially for the next maybe 12 to 18 months, once they have a new executive team in place, I really think that that needs to happen so that they don't head down that same cultural path that they're on. In his letter, Board Chairman Odierno acknowledges to staff, I am deeply aware the recent events have been challenging for all of us across the organization. With your unwavering commitment and passion, we are pulling in the right direction and maintaining focus on what matters most the warriors we serve. Board Chairman Odierno said General Fletcher will be based here in Jacksonville when he takes over next month and will be the senior most member of leadership reporting directly to Odierno. Meanwhile, he also writes the nationwide search for a new permanent CEO is a top priority and the charity has hired an outside executive search advisory firm to help. And less than an hour ago, the I-Team talked with Wounded Warrior Project founder John Milia via Skype. Milia says he was pushed out of the organization in 2009 and is now open to running that charity again, again as an interim CEO working for free for at least the first six months. He told me this pick for interim COO is a good choice. General Fletcher has a, an excellent background as a military officer and since he left the military service, he's used to commanding uh, large organizations, um, you know, Wounded Warrior Projects, five or 600 employees should be no problem for him. Uh, it's a good, safe pick. He's a man of character. This is a positive development today for WWP. Uh, again, you know, the board needs to continue to do its work. Uh, I would say that they're about one-tenth of the way there. So there's quite a bit that needs to be done. Milia says he will be going to New York to meet with Wounded Warrior Project's board as they conduct their CEO search. We will hear more from him tonight on the 10 o'clock news. Back to you. Thank you, Lindsay.